Hello, <clears throat> welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to create a template from a virtual machine. This one, this Ubuntu 22 <clears throat> virtual machine. And then after making a template, I'm going to clone it into a new machine. And you'll see why I would want to do that soon. So <clears throat> this is the machine that's going to get cloned, which I installed in another video. I um, did run the setup program and changed a few settings <clears throat> to things how I like them, dark mode and um, don't turn the screen off, things like that. So uh, it saves time next time I want to use a clone of this because all of these have already been set up. I also did a update and an upgrade of the software, so it's up to date at the moment. So what we do is go to the control panel for Proxmox on the terminal that I'm using, which is a laptop. And you can see here, this is the virtual machine we were just looking at. Um, this burst of CPU usage and RAM and data Actually, that's, that's gone now. <laughs> this corresponds to, uh, and this also, the uh, update that I did of the, the software, <clears throat> the operating system. So that's, uh, you can see what's happened historically. <clears throat> this moves to the left in time. Anyway, what I'm going to do is, uh, I suppose I just stop it before I clone it. <clears throat> Might be a nice thing to do. So um, how am I going to do that? Let's just do uh, the way I usually do it, which is just shut down now. So that's shutting down that virtual machine. And then go back to the control panel here. <clears throat> this green arrow will go away when it's stopped. It, there we are. So what we do is right click on here and say convert to template. Do I want to convert it to template? Yes. <clears throat> and after I've done this, I won't be able to run it anymore because it's only a template. But then I can use it to create clones of the template instead. <clears throat> so this is converting to a template. It's probably finished by now. So what I'm going to do is <clears throat> right click on that template as it is now and then create a cloned virtual machine from it. I'm not going to do a linked clone, I'm going to do a full clone. Um, so <clears throat> it's not linked to the template if I start changing things. It's going to be called, what am I going to call it? Let's call it U22A, <clears throat> for example. Um, it's got a new number, 102. The last number was 101. So we can identify what machine it is. It's a full clone. It's going to go in the same place as where the source came from. So let's just do it. <clears throat> so this is now cloning. And um, it takes a little time, of course, like everything. And you can see this little locked icon. <clears throat> Padlock appears on here saying you can't use it yet until it's uh, finished cloning. The Padlock icon has now gone away which means the cloning is finished. And you can see now that the, um, if we look at the hardware, there are now four CPU cores <clears throat> instead of just one, which I saw earlier because it hadn't actually finished setting itself up. So that's a cloned version of this Ubuntu um, template and it will run just as it did before. <clears throat> so I can carry on where I left off. But if I want to, I can create more clones from this template. So I could have a lot of different machines doing different things. Or if I mess one up, and I'm too lazy to roll back the backup to restore it to an earlier version if there was one. I can just delete it. It's easy to delete these machines. Maybe I'll show you how to do it. Say this one, for example. I um, can delete it if I want to. I think you have to go into more. I oh, know it's converting to clone. Maybe because it's running, I can't. But it is possible to delete these things and to completely remove them. And then you can just spin up a fresh one and continue that way. So that's all I wanted to say in this brief video. And in other videos, I'll show you other things that you can install into these virtual machines. <clears throat> Thank you for watching and please make comments and ask questions.